What is up guys, Steven here with Catch Row Cook, and today we're gonna to be going over the smoke setting on the Traeger. So first we're gonna be going over what the smoke setting is, when to use it, uh, if you have a P setting on your Traeger, how to adjust that and how that impacts your smoke setting, and then finally, why you should probably be using one of the temperature settings instead of the smoke setting when you wanna smoke or cook food on your pellet grill. So let's get into this. All right guys, so now let's go over what the smoke setting is and when you should use it. And as you can see behind me, my Traeger is smoking on the smoke setting, but that's not the only setting Traeger smoke at. If you do any low temperatures, uh, the pellets will smolder, which will create that awesome wood smoke in these pellet grills. So if you use 180, 225, you know, all those lower temperatures, these things will smoke. Uh, if you use a higher temperature, in order to create that really high heat, the pellet grill is gonna feed in a lot of pellets, which, does, which doesn't create as much visible smoke, but these pellet grills will generally produce smoke at any setting, not just the smoke setting. Now, the reason why you do wanna use a smoke setting or the, or the purpose or when you should use the smoke setting is when you're firing up these pellet grills. Uh, so you can see in the beginning that as the fire pot is mostly empty, it's gonna be feeding in those pellets every so often uh, usually for about 15 seconds before waiting 65 seconds. Um, and then the hot rod will be turned on in order to try to ignite those wood pellets. Um, now, if your pellet grill has this little tiny hole, sometimes there's a sticker here. Um, some triggers have them. Usually they're on some of the older models like these tailgaters. Uh, newer models usually do not, but you can adjust the P setting. Now that stands for pause setting, which is how long the Traeger will wait in between each of those uh, pellet feeding cycles. So P0, I think is the lowest, and uh, you know, might wait, let's say 45 or 55 seconds. And then at P1, P3, P4, et cetera, as you go up, it'll wait longer or pause longer before it feeds in those pellets again. Um, I'll have a link down below that'll actually explain the Traeger P setting for each one, how long it keeps the auger on, how long it's feeding in pellets, and how long it's pausing. Um, but in any case, that's when you do, or you can adjust the P setting. So if you do want to use the smoke setting for you know, cold smoking, um, you can see the temperature usually stays pretty low. Then you can keep it on smoke in order to cold smoke you know, fish, cheeses, or what have you. Um, and then by adjusting the P setting, so like a cold day today, uh, you can put it on a lower setting. So that way the temperature uh, is a little higher than it normally would be. Um, versus, you know, if it's a hot day, you can use a much lower P setting because, uh, you know, the pellet grill will probably maintain a pretty high heat, even with a longer pause in between feeding pellets. All that being said about the smoke setting, what the smoke setting is, when to use the smoke setting, uh, and how to adjust the pause setting, the P setting, if your pellet grill has it, so you can adjust the temperature of the smoke, uh, or the temperature, the cooking temperature on the smoke setting, um, you know, at the end of the day, should you be using this? I think you really should be using a temperature setting. Now, smoke settings can be okay for cold smoking, and so you can put pellet tubes in here in smoker boxes in order to create additional smoke uh, with very little heat, so that way you can cold smoke things or kind of dry things out, uh, similar to like beef jerky or cold smoking cheeses or fishes. But the reason why you should only use the smoke setting for firing up your pellet grill is because the temperature is gonna fluctuate a bunch. On a cold day today, my smoke setting, I mean, it's around 116 degrees. That's not really gonna cook anything. Um, but if I crank it up to you know, 180 or 225, now the pellet grill is gonna try to maintain that cooking temperature. So if I'm smoking a brisket at 225, um, you know, I know it's about a pound and a half or an hour and a half per pound. So if I have a 10 pound brisket, I know it's gonna take 15 hours at 225. Versus on the smoke setting, I mean, it could be smoking at 100 degrees. It could be smoking at 200 and so that just fluctuation in temperature is just too unreliable to really smoke food and like we said if you use a low temperature low cooking temperature like 180 225 these pellet grills are going to produce a lot of smoke um, so your food will still taste smoky you know so you don't have to worry about that the smoke setting is not the only setting that creates smoke on pellet grills um, and so yeah hopefully that helps you hopefully it clears the air about using the smoke setting on these awesome Traegers, these awesome machines. Um, and if you want more tips and tricks for pellet grills, I'll leave some helpful links down below. There's a lot of good resources to different articles. And if this video was helpful, I would appreciate it if you 
like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video.